Hi, everybody. I am back, finally. I took a big old break from recording these um, uh, updates, and uh, but I'm back now, and uh, I just think I needed a little bit of time. You know, I just needed a little bit of time to just kind of, just kind of uh, soak this all in and kind of uh, learn about this new me. You know, the real me, because. I, I don't know, I just the biggest thing is that I'm feeling this euphoric happiness all the time. I am so happy, and I'm not taking any supplements at all. And I'm going to be totally honest with you here. Um, my supplements were basically my antidepressant. Um, you know, if I wasn't on my supplements, if I didn't take my supplements, and I took a lot, uh, I was not a happy person. And I was um, also irritable and grouchy and uh, a whole list full of symptoms, basically, if I didn't take my supplements. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I have not taken one supplement. So, I don't know. I'm just so, it's, it's amazing that you can, that uh, just cleaning your body and, and getting rid of the junk can uh, allow you to, to, um, to uh, be clean enough to not need any any uh, supplements or drugs or meds or anything, you know. Um, so anyway, I, I'm just, I'm feeling very uh, much, I'm feeling like I am uh, probably in the more pure form of myself. Um, I feel like this is uh, the, this is the body that, this is who God really um, planned for me to be. This is who I really truly am. I feel like I'm kind of the purest form of myself right now. Um, and it feels awesome. I mean, who doesn't want to be happy, you know? So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to continue on with uh, eating a more raw food and uh, definitely more, definitely vegetarian diet. Um, because I like the way that I feel right now and I want to continue to feel this way and I'm definitely going to uh, continue on using fasting uh, as a tool in my life um, it's very dear to me you know and especially after this uh, more uh, I would say larger adventure um, fasting adventure uh, there will definitely be more of these in the future um, definitely will be a huge part of my life. So anyway, uh, with that said, um, I'm reading the Bible pretty much at all times of the day. I just feel like I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to God. I feel like I have a, a really natural uh, connection with him right now. Um, I'm really excited because I, I went to this uh, intro class today for a new Bible study that I'm, um, that I'm involved, that I'm just joined today. And I'm really super excited about that. So um, I just really, truly, truly feel like God uh, used my passion for health, and He uh, He gave me this experience, and He knew that it was gonna that it was gonna draw me closer to Him, and that I was gonna be uh, way on a way, 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 way more healthier form of myself. Um, from this experience and that it would allow me to grow and change in uh, good and healthy ways you know that would be you know great for me and my family um, and the people that are around me so anyway um, with that said I will tell you a little bit about food and how, um, how I'm feeling about food and uh, my relationship with food and how my body handles food right now um, well the first couple of days uh, my body definitely wasn't ready to break the fast. It, it didn't, you know, it was okay, but, you know, um, I definitely knew that I was pushing the envelope, you know, like, okay, we're going to do this. This is what we're going to do. We're going to be introducing food here, and I know you don't really want to accept it, but we're going to do it anyway. So I just tried to be really as careful as possible, and um, I stuck with the oranges the first day. Um, and then did um, different fruits the second day, and then uh, of a salad um, at the end of the second day. And my stomach was not happy then, uh, but ironically, I, I got this massage on my massage chair, and my stomach felt better. 
that, that was kind of interesting. But um, anyway, now I think overall um, my body is definitely still hesitant and it's definitely a lot happier when I'm feeding it only raw food. I've tried a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, vegetables cooked and um, it likes, you know, it was okay with lentil soup, which that was, that was good, but um, pretty much, you know, no, I tried um, some bread and butter and that, just a little bit of butter, but yeah, my body was not happy with that. It's definitely way more happy with the raw food, and of course it's more happy with the raw food. Raw food is, still has its enzymes and uh, nutrients that my body needs to uh, process the food. When you cook food, it's, it damages it, and uh, it's basically foreign matter to your body. So I'm definitely going to be trying to stick with more of a raw food diet. I can't say, I'm not going to say I'm going to go 100%. Uh, now, that might happen eventually because I am a pretty, I would say, extreme, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a person that will be willing to take something to the extreme. So I can't tell you that I won't ever do a raw food diet because I'm very intrigued by it, but I will tell you that I'm going to push for 95% raw, um, uh, you know, because I, I definitely feel better on it as of right now. And I don't even know, I don't understand how somebody can break a fast and just go back to eating regular, like, junk food or I just you know my body is like so mad if I try to eat anything even cooked um, that's not even junk you know but um, anyway so um, it's a little bit difficult right now to uh, get my water in because my body's like oh it just doesn't want to take a lot of anything right now so I'm really having to space things out to the point where I'm actually setting a timer sometimes you know to say okay I'm gonna space this out make sure I'm eating my fruit alone by itself and you know then let that process and then drink like you know a bunch of water and you know just to make sure that I'm getting my water in because it's really hard to get it in um, it was really weird the first couple of days uh, my taste buds were like it's starting to get a little better now but they would take on the extreme flavor um, mineral content of like uh, romaine lettuce or something and then when I take a drink it would like taste nasty um, so that was really that was really uh, really sort of interesting because my taste buds were so clean that they would just take on the flavor of anything that I ate so um, my sleep is very 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 hard right now and it's nice because I'm like drifting off so peacefully like more peacefully than probably ever before in my life my dreams are really super, super vivid. Um, I have my energy back, so uh, that's really, really super nice. We'll see how I do at the gym, though. <laughs> Don't be making fun of me, you know, um, because I do some pretty high intense uh, cardio um, when I go to the gym, so we have a good time doing that. But anyway, uh, just a few details about like how my brain is functioning. I'm very, very clear, very organized. Um, very detail oriented. I'm uh, not like slacking off at all. Um, just I'm using every opportunity that I can to get whatever I need to done. And um, you know, no no excuse making in my head about anything. You know, yeah. about getting anything done at all. Um, I'm definitely very organized and very detailed. Um, and I hope that, you know, I hope that stays and, and if it starts to go, time to fast again, basically. Um, because I like, I like this me. I guess I like it. I like this me. Um, so, uh, and I'm, and I'm starting to tackle some bigger tasks that have been sitting there and that I have no idea why I was avoiding them before, but um, they're actually things that are kind of exciting to me to finish. So that's really super excited, exciting. But um, anyway, I want to talk a little bit about my bowels really super fast. I'm running out of time here. Um, they are moving very, very, very regularly. Like I've never had them move this regularly before. Like we're talking several times a day and um, it doesn't, there's no smell. So that's really cool. No mucoid plaque, unfortunately. Um, and also really fast, I'm hoping, uh, I did get my period and um, you know, my periods were like about 21 to 25 days apart. So I'm hoping th that they'll push to like 28 days. Um, just a little detail, I'm totally running out of time here, but I'm gonna be getting back with you tomorrow to uh, finish up, to kind of look back and see, you know, compare my list to see how I did with my symptoms, so. Um, anyway,